Okay guys, so continue tayo sa uh, design of members for compression or design of compression members. So, nung previous na videos, pinakita ko yung uh, 2001 tsaka 2010 or 2015 na NCP code. No? Uh, actually, minimum formulas lang yun. This time is let's go with the more detailed na mas na formulas. No? So, uh, kinuha ko to sa 2015 na NCP code. 2015 NCP code okay hindi ata klaro eh no so So, section 505, so andun yung design of members for compression. So, same lang yung uh, formula, ah, same lang yung safety factor na ginagamit natin no? for the design of tension members. So, ganun pa rin, no? kung gusto mong hanapin yung design compressive strength, yung ito, design compressive strength, okay, yung P lang natin na gagamitin is, uh, for LRFD this is just phi no nominal okay and pag allowable uh, compressive strength so that is ESD so yung gagamitin natin is nominal over no safety factor okay so so may kita mo dito na yung phi is just equal to 0.9 And then dito naman yung safety factor is 1.67, di ba? May kita mo yung ito. So yan pa rin yung gagamitin natin, no? So same lang yung safety factor at saka yung fee factor for uh, design ng tension member and compression uh, members, okay? So sa 505.2, so sinabi niya yung uh, limitation ng slenderness ratio natin, yung kailangan lang daw preferably okay preferably should not exceed 200 uh, 200 no so dapat daw yung KL over R natin must be less than or equal nung 200 so if yung KL over R natin is greater than 200 so you need uh, that is not allowed in the code so you need to redesign na lang eh? redesign mo na lang, change mo na lang yung uh, section mo, hanapin mo na dapat uh, mag less than lang siya ng 200 yan kasi yung preferred ng code so follow, lang na lang, uh, follow na lang natin okay ba? so yung K na yan yan yung mga uh, effective length factors so pinakita ko yan sa previous na video, pa check out na lang Then, yung L dyan, yan yung laterally unbraced length, no? So, kung may brace yan along y-axis, let's say, at mid-height. So, dapat yung kalahati ng height niya, yung magiging L mo, okay? And then, yung R is yan yung governing na radius of gyration. Kasi dapat yung KL over R natin must be critical, no? Pag critical kasi yung slenderness ratio mo, so yung strength niya, uh, uh, lumiliit, no? Kaya, Kaya diba, pag nagdi-design tayo, kailangan natin makuha yung pinakamaliit na nominal uh, nominal force niya, no? Or actual force, no? Kailangan natin makuha yan kasi yun yung mag-govern sa design yung pinakamaliit. Okay? So, I hope klaro tayo. So, may kita di, uh, sinabi din dito, no? Yan, sasabihin niya dito. The nominal compressive strength, yan yung PN, okay? Shall be the lowest yung pinakamaliit okay? lowest okay? lowest value obtained according to limit states of pleasural buckling so so yung PN pala is the smallest among yung uh, pleasural buckling then meron pa tayong torsional
And then, meron tayong pleasural torsional. Buckling. Okay? So, yung ibig sabihin nito, kailangan mong computein yung uh, nominal compressive strength for pleasural buckling. Uh, I think, mer meron yan eh, sa mga section eh. Na? Then, kailangan mong computein yung nominal compressive strength uh, under the torsional buckling. Kung merong torsional buckling na na state. And, kailangan mo rin computein yung nominal compressive strength ng pleasural torsional buckling. Okay? Kung meron man, na? So, yung... Then, once makuha mo na yung mga PN nila, next mong gagawin is mamimili ka kung ano yung lowest value. So, ganun yan, na? Ganun yan. So, ano yan? Ano yan, na? Ano, ano, ano yung mga pleasural buckling, torsional buckling, tsaka pleasural buckling? Uh, ito yan, na? Ito yan, yung pleasural buckling. So, may kita mo dito na nag-buckle yung... Nag-buckle yung... Yung column natin, na? Parang ganito yan, na? Ha? Parang ganito yan. So, ito yung pleasural buckling. Pag sinabi nating torsional, parang parang natitwist. Na? May kita mo dito? Yung, yung imaginary line na yan. So, parang may twisting siya. No? Parang twisting. No? Parang naglalaba ka. So, natitwist yung column natin. So, kailangan mo ding i-consider yun. No? Yung torsional buckling. Okay? Pag pleasural tsaka torsional, okay? So, combination nung combination nitong dalawa, no? Pleasural tsaka buckling, okay? Pero hindi yan magana, no? Parang ano lang, no? Parang in yung dalawa. nag pa siya, at the same time, na-twist yung na-twist yung section natin, no? So, yun yung pleasural torsional buckling. So, kailangan mong kunin yung mga PN nito, tsaka mamimili ka sa smallest value nung PN, okay? So, I hope klaro yung yung sinabi ng code na. So, ganun 'yan. Okay? So, paano naman computein yung PN? Okay, yung nominal compressive strength. So, ito yung mga formulas na binigay sa code. Pero take note, this is for without without, ha? Without slender na slender element. Okay? So, applicable lang yung section na to for for, di ba? Sinabi dito eh compact and non-compact section. Ayun. So, hindi ito, uh, hindi ito magagamit for uh, uh, hindi, hindi naman sa magagamit. Uh, may, may mga changes lang. No? May mga changes lang pag slender, uh, slender yung section. Okay? Which is uh, ipapagita ko mamaya. No? So, yes or not, when the torsional unbraced length is larger than the lateral unbraced length, C section 505.4 may control the design of the wide planche and similar shape columns. So, tignan natin yan mamaya. Uh, parang dito yata. Ah, ito yan, no? Ito yung sinabi niya. Okay? So, pag nangyari na ganito, so, ito naman yung uh, i-consider natin na, sa NCP. Okay. So, yung nominal strength is just equivalent nung critical uh, bucklings. Okay, yung critical buckling stress times yung gross area. Okay? So or pleasural buckling stress, yung term ng FCR. Okay? So yun pa rin yan, no? So pag yung slenderness ratio mo daw is less than nung 4.71 nung square root ng E over FY, I think na naano ko na to. Or yung Euler uh, buckling stress mo is greater ng 0.44 nung FY. So yung gagamitin mo na formula is 0.656 raised to power uh, raised to power of FY over FE times ng FY. Pinakita ko na to sa previous na video. So, uh, check out nyo, lin, nyo din yun. Pag yung KL over R is greater ng 4.71 square root ng E over FY. Yung E pala dyan is constant yan, no? For steel, that is 200,000 megapascal. That is for steel. Or, pag yung Euler's uh, buckling stress natin is less than 0.44 FY. So, yung gagamitin mo is 0.877 FE. Okay? So, yung value ng FE, ito yun, no? Or that is elastic critical buckling stress or Euler. Euler's buckling 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 stress. So, yan din yung uh, another term niya. Okay? So, yung Euler's buckling stress is just pi squared E over KL over R squared. Okay? So, I hope klara to na. I hope klara to. Okay? 
I think na-discuss ko din to sa sa previous na video. Okay. Ayan. So, so, that, uh, yung formula na to, yung formula na to is applicable for pleasural buckling, yung A. Okay? So, paano naman pag B and C? So, ito na daw yung kagamitin natin ngayon, no? So, ganun pa rin. This section is applied to singly symmetric and unsymmetric members. Okay? And certain doubly symmetric members, na, mga, like WMS, uh, mga ganun, no? Or build up columns, no? applicable din to. With compact and non-compact section. Okay? For uniformly compressed elements. So, these provisions are not required for single angles which are covered in section 505.5. So, titignan natin ulit yan. No? Okay. So, ganun pa rin. Pero bali, dito yung titignan natin is torsional and pleasural torsional buckling members. Okay. So, ganun pa rin yung pag-compute nung nominal strength. So, PN lang equals FCR no gross area. Pero yung value ng FCR niya is medyo mahaba na. Yeah, may kita mo dito sa ano natin, yung FCR is ito lang na. Ito na yung formula na, maliit lang. Pero pagdating natin sa torsional, ayun no. Masaya na no, sobrang saya. So sobrang saya yung formula kasi masyadong mahaba. Okay. So for double angle and T shape ng mga compression member, so ito yung gagamitin mo in solving for the Pleasural critical buckling, okay? So, where FCRY dito is taken as FCR sa equation 505, uh, 505.32 and 505.33, no? Ito yan, no? 32 and 33. So, ito daw yan. Yan yung magiging value nung FCRY mo, okay? FCRY. So, yung value nung FCRZ mo is ito naman. So, meron kang shear. Uh, modulus nung ilas uh, ilas uh, tawag niyan ng steel uh, that is constant constant yan may value yan ito yan no? yung 77,200 megapascal okay sa so, elastic modulus is 200,000 megapascal okay i hope klaro yan so gj over area gross nung r uh, r sub 0 min no? squared okay for all other cases so ito naman yung gagamitin mo for Solving for the Fe. Okay? So, pag doubly symmetric, uh, symmetric members and for singly symmetric members. For unsymmetric members, so ito naman yung formula. Yan. Sobrang saya, no? Yan. O, di ba? So, yan yung... Uh, kung may inisipin kayo, mas maganda pag yan na yung tignan niya, no? Sige lang, uh, mag, mag... Ano man din ako ng example nito, eh. No? Para at least alam nyo kung paano gamitin yung mga formula na to sa next na mga videos pa. Okay. Okay na? So, ito is for doubly symmetric, singly symmetric, and unsymmetric. So, ito yung mga formulas naman na gagamitin for solving for the Euler's uh, buckling stress. Okay? Okay ba? So, yung FCR mo daw shall be determined according to equation uh, 503. So, ganun pa rin. So, ito pa rin yung formula mo. Ito daw, tsaka ito. Pero yung Fe mo dito sa formula, kasi may Fe yan eh. No? Ito yung Fe niya eh. Diba? Ito Fe din to, no? Uh, medyo hindi lang klaro. Pero sa ano ko sa previous na video, klaro yan, no? So, Fe yung mga formula na yan. So, yung pag-compute mo daw ng Fe, yung ito. No? For, yung ito, ito, tsaka, yan, no? So, yan daw yung gagamitin mo na formula pag magsusolve ka ng Fe. Okay. So, yung AG yan, yan yung gross area ng member in square mm and cw is uh, the warping uh, constant no so yung sabi dito na sa user note for doubly symmetric i shape na section yung cw mo daw is just iy h sub o squared 3 is uh, divided by 4 where yung h is the distance between the planges na centroid okay so ay klaro yan no planges centroid so for uh, structural t and double angles i Omit lang daw natin, no? Tanggalin lang daw natin yan. So, yun yung sabi ng code. So, yung value naman ng R, O, then mean squared is ito naman yung formula. Yung value ng H, di ba? Makikita mo yung mga term na yan. Dito. Diba? May H dito. Yan. H. 
yung RO makikita mo yan dito eh yung sana nga yan eh ito no ito yung RO okay so ito, ito naman yung mga formula for FEX ito yung formula di ba same lang sa Euler's uh, kung X yan nagiging X lang din daw pag uh, EY so nagiging Y lang din yung RY okay and then, tsaka yung K no yan lang yung maiba okay pag easy naman so yun medyo mahaba-haba yung formula so ito naman yung gagamitin mo So, yung G dyan, yan yung shear modulus of elasticity of steel. So, constant. 77,200 megapascal. Then, we have the IX and the IY. Yan yung moment of inertia about the principal axis. We have the torsional constant. Yan yung G. Okay. Then, yung KZ. Yan yung effective length factor for torsional buckling. Okay. So, yan. So, kaya may KZ tayo for torsional buckling. Okay? Then, yung X, O, and Y, O, yan yung mga coordinates nung shear center. Okay? Iba-iba yung mga shear center. Pag iba-iba yung shape, no? So, consider nyo din yan, no? Then, yung R, O, yan yung magiging polar, uh, polar radius of gyration about the shear center. Okay? And then, R, Y, is yan yung gyration, radius of gyration about the Y axis. So, hindi lang, no? Mag-example tayo ng ganito sa next pa na mga videos. Uh, actually, pinakita ko lang kung ano yung uh, detailed na design niya. No? So, basta ganito lang. No? I-recap lang natin. Kukumputin mo yung PN for for pleasural buckling, for torsional buckling, and pleasural torsional buckling. Then, pipiliin mo yung smallest. So, yung formula is ito lang. Okay? Ito lang yung formula. Yung magbabago lang is yung value ng FCR tsaka yung FE. Okay? FE. Okay? So, yan, no? Pag torsional buckling ka na, ito naman yung magiging value mo ng FCR. FCR. Pero yung FCRY mo dito, is kukunin mo dito sa sa pleasural buckling. Okay? Kukunin mo dyan yung value nya. Pero pagdating mo dito sa situation 2, for all other cases, bali, for, bali hindi siya dub, uh, double anger or structural D. So, same yung formula. Ito pa rin yung kukunin mo. Yung magbabago lang yung value ng Euler's buckling stress mo. Ito na, yung tatlo. Kung uh, double symmetrical siya, single symmetrical, and unsymmetrical. Okay? So, I hope klaro yan. Ha? So, sa next na video is... Uh, ito is, uh, na lang to eh. Uh, uh, tawag yan. Yung parang... Uh, applicable to for compact and non-compact. No? How about pag slender yung elements, no? Pag slender yung elements, uh, uh, may tinatawag tayong local buckling, no? So, mas prone yan sa local buckling pag slender yung elements. Okay? So, discuss natin yan mamaya. Ah, okay. Sa next, pa, sa next na video, yung local buckling. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, iti-check mo yung pleasural buckling, torsional buckling, pleasural torsional buckling, tsaka yung local buckling. Ha? Check mo nga apat na yan sa design. Okay? So, see you in the next video. Thank you.